Hello there, YouTube. We are back with some more match play commentary for y'all. I'm joined by the cheesy McQuackerton, the Kaiju King himself, TJ. <laughs> call me, call me up for eating mozzarella sticks right away. We just started. Just Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Hello. Uh, but as I said in the previous video, we are rolling it back a little bit, doing some BT15 for y'all. Uh, this is the Evo Cup that we had at Sully's Abode, so a pretty, I think, good send-off for BT15 in that sense. Uh, for those of you in the Chicagoland area, Sully's is usually where we play Digi every Thursday. Pop off at around 6, 6.30. Great shop, great place. Uh, they got a ton of TCG stuff going on too, so you know, feel free to check them out. I'll drop their TCG player link in the video description down below, along with our socials, which includes our Discord, our Instagram, our Twitter, etc. So feel free to check those out. But in this match, we've got a feature by yourself, TJ, playing Nuemon on the right, uh, going up against Stack, who's playing Leviamon on the left. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a while since we've seen Leviah. You know, I think we've talked about this a few times on the channel already, where Leviah sort of was the big baddie to start, and then as BT15 yeah. evolved, it kind of fell off. Uh, yeah. So it'll be good to see it again. I mean, it's still a really powerful deck. Saw it at Ulti Cup twice uh, yesterday. So, I mean, it's there and it'll probably still be around, you know, still float around and swim in the swamp, so to speak. Yeah. But yeah, without further ado, uh, let's hop right into the video. I think um, I was talking about this with, uh, I think, at the shop on mm. Thursday. I think you might have heard me talking about it. But I think the reason Levi has become kind of irrelevant in the meta mm. mostly like not i shouldn't say relevant. it's still a good deck it's still a strong deck right i think the issue is that its gimmick is too easily played around sure because so many people don't have to play things out and while the deck can uh force you to play things out uh -huh. um then force you to play into its gimmick it takes a bit of setup to get there because you normally have to get a biting crush on board prior to that to really utilize it properly or have an ex anybody in your stack you know with uh with Levi with Levi X and trash. Mm -hmm. Um because like hard to evil and Levi is not terrible right now. It's fine. Uh as you guys will see in these matches. Um I think another but, thing too is like like you're saying, it, it there's a lot of setup to it. And right. we've run a lot of security bombs now in this meta because of that. I think that the meta has evolved to counter it. And security yeah. bombs and removal just just hurt it so much. Yeah. And on top of that too, it it also, it, it, I think people are kind of just steering away from the deck already because it kind of just completely falls to the wayside next format. Yeah. Like this format, I guess, now because BT16 stuff is coming out at this point. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, catch you guys up on the match here, though. Uh, so stacks built up into a Levi stack, as I was saying before. Oh, there's a Goblin in the back. Uh, it clears my Monza. I do give him sec minus one, so he wasn't able to push any aggression that turn. Um, I just go with Chumon in the back. I have a Satsuki on board. Uh, he's a Levi X and Trash, which is spooky for me. Um, and, uh, something I mentioned or, or something that was kind of going on, Nume was bricking for me a lot tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we both had a, it was a night. <laughs> we both had rough nights. Uh, and the thing is, is when Nume bricks, it is incredibly hard to unbrick. Sure. Um, it, cause you don't have the same like type of draw engine or like search engine that a lot of decks have. Mm -hmm. Um, I accidentally revealed the third check deck that Honey saw three, but I forgot. See, yeah. I forgot that Monze I gave it next. One. Yeah. Yeah. And but I mean, he me to one. just plowed through security, chokes you to one. I mean, that's sort of like the ideal start for stack. And he, he arguably saw his line very early as well and was able to just mm -hmm. capitalize off of you not seeing your pieces. Um, but I mean, you, you pass turn, choke on a one. So, I mean, I don't think you can necessarily go for game here. Um, so you do buy yourself a turn, but it is a bit of an uphill battle. He swings and hits an Uko, which is honestly what you want to be seeing in your hand, not in security. And then he just passes turn by playing out a Gabu. And yeah. then you just, <laughs> you just have to say, yeah, it, it's good. over. Yeah. My hand was, um. The issue with Nume is if you don't keep, if you don't consistently draw into your, your, like your pieces to float and like keep bouncing into, right. um, your hand can very quickly just kind of gum up with useless stuff. Um, be it like, you know, level sevens that you run in the deck to go into, to kind of like try and counterplay some of like your, like your opponent whiteboarding and stuff like that, or like just have powerful effects in general to resolve. Um, 
or it can be even like sometimes a couple of tamers that just aren't really gonna do anything for you at that moment because you don't ha like like i said you don't have the same draw and search engine like other decks do so you're yeah you're kind of struggling and you really get your draw engine from existing on the board can i say something yeah i was gonna say uh, this is why i'm kind of giggling right now it's like when the poop's flowing it flows but when it backs up <laughs> you get backed up the deck the deck does get a little constipated this is accurate this is true this is a true statement um i do think that uko or sorry um i do think that uh nume is uh -huh. incredibly scary with the bt16 uko though yes yes that bt16 uko is uko so good to consistently go into and just keep on hatching keep on pushing aggression because you don't ever really need to evo in this deck you can very easily just live your life just hard dropping new maze and calling it a day right um but the ukos give you so much memory and the new uko the bt16 one gives you so much search yeah uh consistency that it's just scary it can be you you get a major consistency piece with that yeah and this is something game. too that i've like talked to i think bryce a little bit about as well um our national champ it's like because he's been on that yellow vaccine grind a lot and he was like one deck that really does like in general against yellow vaccine you just want to chip away at security because then you take away their resources to like either emissary right. or pata and like right. new mate can still do that and like you said with the new uko it's just like like a like a revolving door just like stuff coming yeah. in and out and just swinging 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 yeah having eight ukos that both keep hatching eggs whenever they push up and either giving you search or gaining you memory or sometimes can be both if you just leave them on board and it can just it can start to just <laughs> really steamroll and get away with the game right um um, but both of so you have see, a pretty good setup here. Um, yeah. Yeah, you've got your Uka out on board. You've got the Monze X. You go ahead and play out a Monze. Uh, we'll go ahead and next six. You did get a stack a decent amount of memory, but I mean, I think that's good aggression from your end to potentially do a lot of damage next turn. My only concern with this would be if stack is able to build and then Leviah, he could do some damage to that wide board here too yeah i uh was missing i didn't have any new amount of trash yeah and i and i wanted to clear the uh, the body on board because i didn't have an effective way to choke in my hand my mm -hmm. hand was gummed up with everything like that i couldn't go i couldn't go i couldn't do any plays that yeah. was my cheapest play aside from passing turn oof so Which I think does, passing turn yeah. would have been still just just, just as, as bad, yeah. Um goes Levia, swings, yeah. unfortunately does hit a heavens, but is big enough to live. Yeah. And just decides to pass turn and not risk it, which I think is probably the smart move. And yeah, then does the a training. Thing stack is, the one thing Stack has learned to do really well. Um because he's a good Levi player. He's he's yeah. it's the one deck that he's been maining throughout the entirety of BT15 and stuff. And even before that he was starting to play it um he uh he's learned to just use his trainings to choke which yeah. is really good um he he doesn't try and like push too much memory to try and get a play out he's just like i'm just going to choke you to one every turn and you won't be able to do anything and that's it works against new if you can consistently choke new to one and they're not seeing their ukomon they're not going to be able to do much especially mm -hmm. if you're able to control their board because even if they float they definitely can struggle to make any consistent plays okay well that's a good play on um, your end too yeah, I just have him just set him back, set, uh, put, put the clock back to zero, force him to rebuild. I'm just kind of yeah. hoping he maybe just doesn't have pieces, uh, but he literally, like, he's just, he's, he's got just drawing stars. into him right now. He's, yeah. Training, he's, he's drawing he the rookies and the level fours that he needs. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the Cerberus in hand. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much set up. He biting crushes. Okay. Yeah. Pops the thing that gives you the aggression, pitches a Cerberus X. Yeah, because he doesn't have a Levi to pitch, so it yeah. just goes into trash. Now, um, question no, for you is that with Biden Crush, does he necessarily have to pitch the Cerberus? Or can he just, like, play it out? And, like, if he doesn't have it, just keep the Cerberus in hand? Um, Because you don't necessarily I, have to I pitch believe, a card, right? No, I, you have to pitch a card to do something. Oh, you something. do? Okay. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check. It's been a minute. I haven't played Levi in a second, even though it was my main deck for a while. I'm just dumb. Oh, yeah, You have to buy no. trash one card in your hand, delete one of your opponents to Jamon. Okay. You do oh. do platinum for two checks, which, jeez, it's another training, and then an X antibody, yeah. which is just like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I might also, uh, yeah, stack security was doing him a lot of favors, and I was not, I was like, I was really hoping platinum Nume would die there, so I yeah. could like float, float him back into, out. Because I could float another Monze out, and then I could play out platinum Nume off of the Nume X inheritable. Mm -hmm. 
um, and get like two bodies on board. But that was not the case. I think this actually still works out okay for me because I was able to, uh, to not give him too much memory by just having to hard drop Luli at sort of a, a meh time. Mm -hmm. Um. We oh, yeah, see. Yeah. Let's see if we get rush. Stack goes into the Cerberus X, plays out the Gil with Rush, then goes into Leviah for reduced cost of three using his second training. Mm -hmm. Pops a body, gains one, uh, and then we'll pop the Platinum as well, which allows you to spit something out. Yeah. Yeah. And Play I was Monza. checking to see if he had a Leviah X on trash. That's why Stack was going through his trash. Because I was yeah. like, do you have a Leviah X in there? Because I want to make sure. Um, so I'm debating which enemy to put in because I can't tuck in. Uh, that new max because I'll lose the ability to play out the plat uh, the platinum. So I just tuck in a, uh, a BT14 new may and then I use the new max uh, effect to play out the platinum new may mm -hmm. and then gain two memory. So I'm able to steal turn before he can do any aggression, which was was good for me. Um, yeah. I do see a Monza X, which is pretty good. I'm able to spit out Chikuri minus six K on the Levi until the end of Stacks next turn. Pretty good. Um, and at this point, I'm just trying to consider what I want to do. protoform so that guy still lives big guy yeah it was, it was just nothing but options and security <laughs> two checks it's a leviax mm -hmm. on the first check and dies unfortunately Oof. Or that's our that's where platinum needed to die <laughs> that's what um <clears throat> yeah here i feel like it's kind of rough i know you're looking at the zord defeat yeah just yeah, so to digivolve into it choke like, him to one i, think I know fair. he has the in trash now yeah since I know he has it in trash now, and if he has it in hand, if he evos into it, it will just pop his stack as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so kind of just works as like a decent bomb to punish uh Leviah. Dude, that's worth defeat still has yet to be in security for me, by the way. Oh no. Every I I open it almost every hand. <laughs> almost every opening hand, it's like one or two cards away from being in my security, and it's in my opening hand. Every every time, no matter how much I shuffle the deck, it's always there. Jesus. Um, so he swings. He's still minus six, so that's why he dies to the Monze there because uh, Monze X's effect does last until the end of your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. um, so he's only seven swinging in and does hit that Monze, which is unfortunate for him. He does kind of put him back, so I think he had a plan in mind, but now he's just trying to consider what to do. Because you see that Leviah X in hand, so I mean, he could yeah. have gone into Leviah X and done maybe something, but. But it still would have. It would have yeah. deleted my uh, sword. Right, right. I, I kind of, I kind of put him in a position where he's a bit stuck. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, really, all you could do is just try and swing the checks and hope for some decent damage, and then right. find a way to clear me after. But it's still hard. All right, we go to game three. Mm -hmm. Good. You're working, working with what you got. Yeah, that was. I was able to see. Uh, I saw an Uko that game, so that that's the, yeah. that's the game changer. <laughs> when you see Uko, the deck can actually do things. But if you don't see Uko, oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I still think Nume is going to be very, very viable next set. I mean, I don't see, oh, it's, it's, I don't yeah. see a reason why it drops off. You're still going to see it. It's still going to be around. It's still going to be really good. If JP format holds anything, Nume is not going anywhere anytime soon. The deck yeah. is always good as long as until we get a deck that can pretty much until Ukos get punished. I don't think Nume goes anywhere. Right. Right. Until Uko gets punished, if he ever does, or um, if uh, until um, uh, what you call it. Uh, mm. we see like some other card or deck that is uh able to just redirect everything like Magnax from BT9, but also has just better protections or something like this. Sure, there's a couple of decks that could like try and like invalidate it, but it's New May is very re resilient, right? So, both players, I think, decent stacks just setting up. You've got a little bit of aggression going on, no Ukos, but at least two bodies out on board. You swing a new May X to play out gear once again since it since it died. Mm-hmm. Just trying to get some more search going. So I have a pretty good start here. I'm getting new maze in trash, which is nice. I have like a decent amount of cards in my hand. I think my issue is that I was not seeing Monze Mons. Mm-hmm. I was just seeing new May Mons. Gotcha. Um so I just spit out I just like where I'll just wideboard, just try and get a presence going. I know he has the training already, so I can just hope maybe he's just missing some pieces. Uh, but he does have protoform, which is a bit rough. So he's able to go up into Cerberus. Plays uh, out the Gobbly which... off of that effect. Mm-hmm. And then trainings. 
to go into a Leviah for three, which he'll then be able to pop two and then pop uh, mm -hmm. the BT14 new Mayu, and then he can still gain the memory. Um, you see an Uko. Yeah, there's so I'm able Uko. to get the memory off of Satsuki. I do have an Uko, so I'm able to kind of get a little bit of gas going here. I just went gear. I'm just like, well, it's probably going to die next turn. I might as well just get the check off with it. Yeah. And then I just hard drop the Monze and then put uh, Numei X under to pop the other smaller sure. stack. Um, it's decent. Thinking back, I'm, I probably could have just Evoed into it to put him at less memory. Sure. Uh, Oof. But I, I wanted to try and I was I was of the mind of like with the Uko in the back, I can maybe push a lot of aggression this next turn. So I kind of mm -hmm. want to just get the extra chip instead of waiting because the first game i was like maybe if i was swinging earlier or something like you know i was just I was the mind of maybe if i just tried to swing a bit more aggressively i can get something done well there's all the manzes and the walrus manzes yeah and there's my issue <laughs> there's <laughs> all the manzes and then he goes ruin mode um that's rough so Nume lives yeah Clown Nume lives but it kind of shackles uko down in the back for at least a turn and then unfortunately we know that if he swings next turn uko's just gone anyways but you go ahead and do a decent play here goes work defeat crash into it and then pop it um stack will recover one off of the protoform and then pick up a piece and you go ahead and just play out a satsuki So I think a decent way to get things back to like somewhat level playing terms. I still think if Stack can draw into some heat right here, which he kind of does, you know, he's still in a decent spot. Um, and you're you're still you're still trying to like float your pieces, but he's just done. I think it's just a hard matchup with Leviya, you know, being being able to just pop a wide board so easily. Yeah, and I haven't seen the new X since that first one, I don't think. Yeah. But you are able to put... Up. Now you're seeing the Uko, so you're able to push up, hatch the Uko in the back, chip with the Uko. Uh, it's seventh yeah, lightning, I believe, so it goes back to hand. No, it's the protoform, sorry. It goes it was, back it to the hand. Protoform. Yeah, so, which I knew, that's why I chipped with it. Yeah. Um, so maybe an argument to be made to, like, wait and leave it, but I was like, he has a training on board. He can very easily just go up into the Leviathan next turn. Yeah. With, with or without, pro with, with or, with or without protoform, so I was like, I just need to do the chip. I need to do the chip and push damage. Um, I just hard drop that Numei with the idea that, you know, if he pops it, then I'll be able to just at least get some search. Mm -hmm. um, and then I don't know why I went Monza X there. I think I was trying to get draw. Mm -hmm. I should have just left it in past, actually. Just trying to force him to give me some better cards. Sure. Goes into the Cerberus um, X with the protoform that you gave him. Plays out a Gobbly. Um, and he does have a Levia, which it looks like he's considering right now, which he does crack the training for. And he's thinking about it, but I think he's going to do it. Yeah, it goes into Levia for three, ends up popping the board to give himself two memory back. Yeah. And yeah, I think here is just two checks. Does hit a merciful mode. Yeah, so he does, so die. does die. Okay. The portaform goes back up on top. Yeah. We got some cards sneaking in on, on the left. I don't remember who was that next to <laughs> Um. Okay. So you play out the new May. You just need to get away. You need to find a way to get rid of the Gil. Yeah. Um. Which I don't. I'm like, I'm trying to draw some extra stuff here. I yeah. Have, I'm drawing off of effects, but I'm not really just not getting much of what I need. So you do hit the protoform. Yeah, I took the protoform out again. Swing to my ex. It does die. Oh no, I have jamming. You have jamming with the Sasuke, yeah. Yeah, because I was hoping, I think I was just trying to get the extra chip there. And I was hoping I would find a Monze, but I just didn't. Oh, Zulong Ace, anything. okay. So I, just, I just dropped the Zulong Ace and I keep the uh, the Sasuke under there to keep jamming. Okay, blocker, my hand yeah. was, I'm trying to remember exactly how my hand was. I think my hand was pretty bad. <laughs> I think, I'm yeah. starting to run out of resources. I'm starting to run out of gas. Um, just wasn't seeing what I needed to. I know he can just. I knew he could just hard drop the the Guillemot after, so it wasn't like the greatest play. But I was like, at least he, you know he'll put himself down to three, and then I can just block with Numei X, and then if I die, I float into another body, which I can I can float out another. Uh, mm, um, I see what he's doing. Yeah, like a, another another something. So stack just starts building up another body. 
which he goes um, into Dober X for reduced cost of one. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at that Dragu, which. Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah. And then if he's got, he's got the Levia X in there, so he can easily goes Drago. force you to so play something I... out. And then he yeah, so then... just can go into Levia X for free. Yeah. Pops a bunch of things. And then he also has the Seventh Lightning, so he can pop the four and the mm -hmm. six, which will then delete the Levia X. Yeah. And it'll, but he'll gain four memory off of the Azulong. Um, the Goblet can't swing, luckily. Mm -hmm. I always uh, forget that uh, those works. Devas and the Azulongs, like, yeah. if you deal with them, they can just basically just clap you back. But he goes Gesso. I pitch a card just to try and stop him from doing anything else. Um, goes into another server sex. Jeez, how many server? Yeah. <laughs> I feel he's, like sometimes I'm saw, missing that guy. Um, was able to play out the Giel, uh Just pitches a card to, and then we'll gain. Oh, memory gains the memory and then swings with the Giel, Yeah. Yeah. It That's just, well sequenced. I, I well everything. sequenced yeah, by really stack. Well. He did it really well. Yeah. And uh, looking back in that now, I think I definitely made some misplays where I just probably passed over too much memory and should have just kept things a bit, a bit closer to the chest, even if it wasn't uh, as aggressive as I was liking to be. But it's how it goes. It's hard though. I mean, we've I've definitely been there too, where it's like you're in that state where it's like your hands all kind of like gummed up. You know that the opponent's pushing yeah. aggression, so like you kind of feel pressured to do something. Right. Um, and sometimes yeah, and you think about it, it's like yeah, maybe it was better off if I just did that. But I mean, it happens. Well, it's, so. it's it's also hard too, because like with with Nume, if you wait and you don't have a, like your floating inheritables, you're not gonna get much done. Right. Right. You're, you're just going to lose a body and then not have anything to show for it. And it's rough. So it's like you kind of want to push aggression when you don't when, even when you don't have the float, just so you can try and do some chip or get something done. But right. it can be tough. Levi is also a tough one, too, because you play a lot of things by effect and yada yada. You have to play around it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think you did the best with what you got. You know, I think you're definitely putting up a fight till the very end. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this matchup. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And lastly, if you want to support the handsome guys on the channel, you like what you see, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, we'll see you on that flippy flip. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.